guys, it's the Blow Channel, and, um, hoot. yeah, for the Hoot, and, um, yeah, I'm gonna do my Star Wars The Last Jedi movie review. Dun, dun, dun! Yep. Because, you know, it was The Last Jedi movie. Yep, and, and it, it was awesome. It was like, awesome! It, like, it had some... Like, it, it was awesome. <laughs> yep. Except for the opening scene. Or, wait, the finish of the first scene. So, uh, we've been waiting for two yeah. years for Ray <laughs> yep. to give Luke a the lightsaber. lightsaber. And what does he do with it? He just throws it over his head. Eh, wrong. That was bad. Mm -mm. Yeah. So... Because Luke wouldn't do that. That is so not the Luke we know. I, well, I guess that is a good indicator right there that he has kind of changed. So. Yeah. And, Oofta. And Kylo Ren actually says, let the past die. Kill it if you have to. So, I don't know. I guess Luke was following that as well. Yeah, being different. Let my past die being a new Luke. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I was okay with it by the end of the movie, but when I saw it, I about walked out. I thought, no way. What is this? This is just not okay. <laughs> yep. Luke is not cheeky monkey. Mm, yep. And, um, but you know what? I guess if you're alone on an island for a bunch of million years, it can change a person. Yep. yep. And, and I really like the beginning scene. Like, yeah, I, w I was remembering, oh wait, that wasn't the beginning scene, but that was like the beginning of the end of the last movie scene. What was the beginning scene? How did it start? I forgot. It started with the, well, they call it the opening scene. The opening scene. Yeah, I really liked the opening scene, because I mean, you have, you have Poe Dameron going up against a dreadnought. Oh, that's right. And a dreadnought is the new Star Destroyer. And, you know, yep. Paul, that, uh, gun happy. <laughs> yep. Poe is me, because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I like the suit stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. And then he ended up kind of being the leader at the end. It'll be fun to see where he goes with that. Yep, and, um, let's talk about Crate. Crate. It was great. Awesome. Get it? <laughs> yep. Crate was great. Crate. Crate was great. Um, that salt, red salt stuff. That was like the coolest. I thought that was. It was cool that we saw it, in the trailers. Yeah. But then when we actually saw it in the movie. It was even cool. I know, and I thought. It might not have been as cool because we'd already seen it in the trailers, but it was just as cool, if not cooler. Yep, and those ski speeders kicking up the red. Oh, that was amazing. Yep, and I'm actually gonna be making a crate mock. I know, I know other people have done that, like like Solid Brick Studios and other other people like that, but I'm gonna do that. Yep. My mock is gonna be smaller. It's yeah, it's gonna be smaller than the than that. Auntie Terry got you some cool Lego strips to yeah, put well, figures on. Yeah, I got some Lego tape for Christmas, so that's gonna work perfectly. Yep. And if, if shout you, out to Terry, thanks. Yep. Yep. And if you don't know what Lego tape is, uh, just look it up, I guess. I don't know. Oh, uh, Mom's actually going to get it, so, yeah. Oh, and, um, um, yeah, Uncle Tony's going to express his thoughts about the last time. So, what's your, what's your think of it? <laughs> Best part about it was I got to see it with Soren Yanjar. 
Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Red tape for crepe. It's gonna be awesome. Yep. So. Um, Did you save the movie to see with? Yep, I saved the movie to see in Minnesota. So. Yep. Tear and tone. Yep. And. And. And this vlog is going to be really, really long. Mm hmm Want to keep going with it? Or yeah. do you want to do two parts? Mm, I want to keep going with it, because Michael and Jeff kept going with his mm -hmm. last uh, vlog. Yeah, so, there's so much to talk about. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to do a mock of Crate. Don't know when I'm going to review it. Um, e yeah. What was your favorite part again? Crate. What is it? And I thought before you said it was the fight scene with Kylo and Rey against the what? What are the red guys called? Praetorian guards. Praetorian yep, guards. That was awesome. That was awesome. And I loved how they communicated. Yep. In their heads without saying anything. <laughs> yep. And They're totally brother and sister. Yep. And Snoke was really awesome as well. I can't believe Snoke's dead. Yeah, and we I get can't. no information about him. Though. Yeah, I can't believe they killed him. I'm still holding up my theory that he might be Palpatine, but I'm with you there. But that's just me. Cut so, in half. Do you think he's dead? Um, no, because no. I mean, I mean, um, I mean, um, it's in order. You're really gonna be proud of me, cause I'm gonna say something from the Clone Wars. So yeah. I and mean, yeah, so, I mean, Darth Maul got, I mean, Darth Maul got cut in half, and he came back with cyborg legs. With the first, the spider legs. Yeah, yep, the spider legs. Cousin Adam and I were talking about that at Christmas. Mm. So. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I'm excited. I, I don't know what direction they'll take Exactly. They might not take that route again, cause, cause they might think it's already laid out. So I think that's the problem with the different we don't directors. We need to do it again. You get J. J. Abrams to do some stuff, and then a new guy to come for the second movie, and who might not want to follow that lead, and then, but now he's coming back for the third. So we'll see what if he puts those last pieces together that were, or maybe his vision. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'm yep. sure they have the big Disney picture of it all, though. I mean, the, I mean whoever the last Jedi director was, he did good. I'm glad you liked it. Yep. It was awesome. I can't wait to see it again. Should we go right now? Um, mm, we're going to see it with or did North Carolina. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, as Edmund would say. Yeah, uh, as I would say too. <coughs> so, just a good place to stop. Um, nope. I was pleasantly surprised to see the Yoda. Yeah, I I didn't expect the Yoda to to just be there. But Did you? No. No. I was good to see that old I mean, I, I mean, I just thought, eh. Nothing in these books she does, she does not already possess. Yep, and I, and I kind of just thought, well, <laughs> if Yoda's there, then was the voice ghost of Obi-Wan, or uh, Vader, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But they didn't show up, and I'm just like, um. Uh, well, you can't have the Force Ghost of Yoda without the Force Ghost of Obi-Wan, because, cause, you know. Because why? Because remember Obi-Wan was with Yoda? At the when, end of that one movie? Yeah. That was just the end. They were just kind of nodding, doing a nod to all and those characters. And when Luke left Dagobah, mm -hmm. Yoda said he shouldn't go and... I think Obi Wan was there as well. Mm. Hmm. So, yeah. 
and Luke and R two D two. Yep. I knew that was gonna happen, and I was happy. Yep, Luke and R two D two were awesome, and, and and yep, and Mom was hoping that they would Reunite. do some kind of reunion. Or <coughs> but didn't he slap them and said, "Watch your language" or something? Um, Again, cheeky monkey. I think so. <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome if he did. <laughs> if he did. <laughs> yep. Wow. That was awesome if he did. So. Yeah. Um. Final thoughts? Yep. Final thoughts or overall thoughts or whatever. Mm-hmm. It was awesome. I would definitely go see it again. And we will. Yep. And I'm going to make more Last Jedi minifigures for so, like, like Rose. I yeah. loved Rose. Oh, we didn't talk about her. I know. She was one of my very favorite parts of the movie. Yeah. For, for me, she was just kind of, hey, she's just, yeah. mm, It was fun to see her and Finn. And it was fun to see... Yep. I don't know. She just brought. I was I I was very anti Rose when I saw her in the poster. I thought, well, who the heck is she? Man, 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 they don't need any more characters. Mm, yep. But then she was awesome. I don't mm. know. I, I think it was. Yep. You know, I think her sister dying at the beginning <coughs> kind of just brought some heart to the story or something. Some. Yep. Rose. And she was the one that wouldn't let Finn escape in an escape pod. Oh yeah. Yep. <coughs> yep. Yep. So now I kind of want all the lads that I said that I didn't want. Well, I know. You know, I kind of think the big overall theme was that people like Rose and her sister, who are not force sensitive, are a big part of the rebellion and important pieces to this story too. Yep. You know, and then at the end we have some kids who are force sensitive out there. So it's not just the yep. <clears throat> Skywalker and Palpatines. Yep. We all could use the force. Yep. Oh, and. It's the power that binds us all, not just a couple yep. people. Yep. It penetrates us and binds us and brings the galaxy <laughs> together a little bit. That's a good ending right there. Yep. Oh, and Luke dies in the movie. <laughs> didn't know, uh, uh, Spoiler yeah. alert! I think that's a good place to end it. So, um, yeah, see ya. <laughs> <laughs>